stray around this area and we don't see them all that often. <gasps> That's amazing. And the only reason why we found him or why we saw him is because there are so many birds calling around it. How's that? That's incredible. The white-headed vulture. Another one for a list of vultures that we get around here. And I think it's my first time to see it up here in the Sabi sand. I saw it first in the, in the south. But, oh, this is such a good find as well. Sorry, I just want to grab the book so that I can show you why it's a special vulture. That is incredible, guys. And huh, Hosanna is looking in that direction as well. I think maybe also he understands just how rare this vulture can be. Very exciting times ahead. They're normally in pairs, so I wonder if perhaps the other one is not somewhere around here as well. Marisol, you say that you've never seen one. Well, this is amazing. We've got another big one to tick off our lists. And just, I would like to thank Hosanna for bringing us here and then us being able to, to spot it. I think even the leopard got involved in this teamwork. But oh, this is wonderful and we don't get to see them all that much. Hi Lara Moore, you're wondering how big it is. So it's about 92 to 96 centimeters according to the book. And um, it's currently classified as a vulnerable species by the by the red list of the IUCN. So it's also defined in the book as an uncommon resident. That's a very pretty pair of putting it. So we are looking at something that's very, very special. A leopard that led us to a vulture.